The car right here behind me is a silver, I think it's called Reflex Silver maybe, somewhere right around there. But anyways, it's a uh, SE with technology. We're gonna be spending a few days with the car and I, you know, I've done a lot of reviews on the Atlas but I haven't really taken the vehicle away from the store and really got a different feel for this car a whole lot. And I really wanna get a look at this car, see what the wife thinks, okay, that's always important. And also, uh, see what the kids think of the car. I think that's an important thing as well when you're car shopping. I know as a parent, we don't take our kids' advice on what car we're gonna buy, but hey, isn't it nice to have a car that the kids enjoy and like too? I think so, right? But maybe that's just me. But anyways, we're gonna test it out and see how it goes. A family of four, how is the Volkswagen Atlas? And we're gonna take the car to some unique locations and get some beautiful footage of it. I can't wait to really give y'all a good review like I've done with the Volkswagen Tiguan over the last week or so. Now it's time to really get into it with the Atlas and see what this vehicle is all about. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? So just got home with the Atlas and uh, my wife just pulled out, had to run down the grocery store. I said, honey, when you get back, I need to know what you think about the Atlas, okay? Now we've taken into consideration here, she's been driving the Tiguan, you know, to the grocery store and just doing mom stuff, right? Shopping and things like that. She's been driving the Tiguan for a few days um, and, uh, and I've been driving it as well. And she really fell in love with the Volkswagen Tiguan. Great car. Um, she really liked it a lot. That was tough taking that car away from her and taking it back to the car store today. But anyways, you know, that's, she's used to that. I mean, she's been in Range Rovers, uh, Land Rovers, Nissans. I mean, we had all kinds of cool cars over the years, bringing them home, reviewing them. Again, I've been doing this stuff since uh, 2011 in Florida, Savannah, all over the place on the East Coast. But anyways, all right, cool. While you're watching on the vlog right now, while we're waiting on my wife to get back, let's take a look at some Halloween stuff. All right, so I've been working on my Halloween decorations in the yard, you know. I mean, each year they seem to get a little bigger, a little more, and uh, we always have fun with this. But what we got going on here tonight, and uh, first off, I just wanna thank you for watching the video with us right now. You know, this is a little, little life. Uh, my kids are over next door jumping on a trampoline which worries me a little bit because it's so easy to fall off a trampoline. But uh, I'm trying to thank and listen to them all at the same time. Uh, we got this little projector here that shoots ghosts up onto this makeshift uh, half a coffin I got going on there. We got all the little headstones going on here. Got a little tree going on there with a little birdie up top, right? And I got a few more birds to attach to that tree. Give it a little spook effect. So that's kind of what we got going on here. And this is really just a start. And uh, if you're a frequent watcher of the channel, when Halloween time does get here and we do trick-or-treating night, the, uh, the whole yard will kind of transform. I mean, it really does. I got, you know, fog machines, strobe lights, all kinds of cool little things to spook out the uh, trick-or-treaters. So uh, this is my dogs. These are my two doggies. That's Coco right there. She uh, She's over here barking, acting a fool. Every time another dog walks by, Coco seems to uh, raise a little hell. And Rosie, right there. What's up, Coco? Come here. Hey, girl. She is, she, she was, well, I was told she was a lab. I obviously don't have papers on her, but I was told she's a lab and a boxer mixed. I see more lab going on here. Father-in-law has always had labs and says that the lab's head is a lot bigger. So, your head's not too big, Coco. And Rosie is a poodle shih tzu mix. I call her a shitty poo. And that's what she is. And, you know, she pretty much stays outside in the backyard with Coco. Unfortunately, uh, I just don't let her in the house all that much, do we, Rosie? You don't come inside, do you, Rosie? You're an outside dog. Yeah, you are. Cute as can be, though. Cute as can be. And these two, like, super love each other so much. 
So that's why I kind of let Rosie hang out out back. But you know, there's a sunroom right over there that they get to kind of hang out in. It's got AC in there. The window's open right now for some odd reason, but there is actually air vents in there that keeps it cool. So that's nice in the summertime. And that is the infamous Ziggy. What's up, Ziggy Zagdom? Ziggy's been everywhere with us. And just like any good cat, they're going to come up and rub on you a little bit and say, Hey, give me some food, man. Give me some food. Ziggy likes to come inside and he's outside. But he's really more of an outdoor cat. But very tame. And um, he's a good kitty. And like I said, he has been with us all the way since back in 2013 when I was working with the New River Auto Mall out in Beaufort. He's been a good kitty. So I'm um, thinking Ziggy's probably, he's pretty old, 2013, 14, 15, 16, he's four or five years old now, I guess. And he's been a good kitty. And we got other kitties too. Nicole, what do you think about the Atlas? I like it. It's definitely an SUV. It's beefy. It feels like, compared to the Tiguan, it's like you're riding a luxury sedan almost. This feels like an SUV. I can feel the power, and I feel... Uh-huh. So it's got a lot of power. It has a lot of power. I feel higher up above everybody. Yeah. Um, I just feel, I don't know why I want to say beefy. It just feels tough. Like, it feels tough. It feels tough. Feel safe? I feel safe, that's it. I mean, you okay. put those two together. Yeah, um, how's it handling all going down the road? It's really good. Um, Does it feel too big or is it, I mean, just no, give me your I honest opinion. No, I don't, it doesn't feel too big. No. It feels, it's perfect. It's not like some big old honking suburban. Uh huh, okay. It's really sleek, which I still feel like I'm up there. I feel like I'm safe and it's strong. Yeah, what do you think about the dash and then like the display? The dash. I like the dash, I like all the displays. I mean, everything's the same. I do like this right here better than the, the, Tiguan? the Tiguan because it's more accessible. With the Tiguan, you were having to go down and this is right here because I keep my hands when I'm driving, I'll be like this. Right. Everything is more accessible arm wise. I love this big armrest and I sat in the back seat and that's awesome. Uh -huh. Someone like me that's 5'9", if I needed to sit in the back seat, I wouldn't mind because I got plenty of leg room. True. Okay. So, if you could have your choice between this or the Tiguan. I still like the Tiguan better. And why? Because I like the fact that I know that I'm not in a sedan in the Tiguan. I'm in, I guess that's like a crossover or just a smaller SUV. But I still feel I'm in the SUV class, which I like. You have the more room. and. Okay, so you like, yeah, you like the Tiguan more. I like the Tiguan better, but I've all, I also drove the Tiguan more than just one. Now, if this car had the panoramic glass sunroof. That was the one thing I was like. I mean, I could have picked one of those today, but I picked one that I thought was better price range. Okay, so this one is just okay. You can get it with that, too. I mean, you can get it with all the stuff the Tiguan had. I tell you what, this car, though, I do, it does handle really well. Okay. I don't feel like I'm in a bus. Like I kept on trying to lift my seat up. Uh -huh. The thing I don't like about big SUVs is I feel like I'm, you're in a bus. This one you just feel like it's strong. Okay. And it, it's nice. I like the more you have a lot more room right in here. Yeah. Some more interior room. Yeah. It's well, it's very wide. It's a big vehicle, yeah, you know, but it's not as big as a suburban. Right. But to me, like I okay, not the suburban. The, um, not the SUVs, the cops drive. I rode past when we were right on the, the Ford Explorers. Yeah, an Explorer. I felt like I was on that same line with the Explorer, and I like the Explorer, but this definitely looks better. I don't okay. know the price point, how it is, but this one definitely. Yeah. So you're not in the All right, cool. Good enough. There we go. So there's a lady's opinion on the on the Atlas. What do you think about them puddle lights down there? Well, I always like that. Like, you know, I really love the Mazda, the CX, the big Mazda SUVs. The CX-9? The CX-9, but I do like this better. 
Okay. And the one reason it is, I like the get out. For some reason, it's really smooth. And the Mazda, you kind of had to hop. It was a little bit... Um, Getting in and out was more effort involved. More effort involved in it. Because I'm a clumsy person. So, especially if I have heels on or even flip-flops, both of them can be dangerous. And it's such a smooth get out. I like that. I noticed that when I was at the Honda store, the Honda CRV, my when I got in, my feet felt higher up like the floorboard was higher and then when I got in the Tiguan it was like it was so in and out right, it that felt makes good it feel like a sedan but you know you're not in a sedan because I'm not a fan of sedans they're too small huh. I mean you're six one I'm five nine so a sedan for us is really too small yeah all right looking good so this is day one testing the Atlas all right everybody there we go just driving it down the street, it's hard to tell, plus there was cops, and I couldn't really. Yeah. I had to make sure those Right, you couldn't really get up on it like you wanted to. And, you know, to show y'all everybody, I mean, look at all the room you got in the back of here. I mean, she's got, first off, there's a green screen kit back here. There's a bag full of tripods, umbrellas, and all that. There's a lighting kit in here. There's a box in here with more studio equipment there's a chair right there a little fold-up chair and then she's got the groceries in the bag of ice all that so with all this crap in the back there's so much room in the back of the atlas and then yeah you got the second row seats it's a very roomy vehicle so yeah that's nice it really is and uh, as you can see when the you know it's starting to get dark but you can see the lighting on the vehicle i'm talking she stopped way down there at the end and kind of buzzed my phone for a second to let me know she was coming so i'd be ready to get a shot of the car coming and i mean just through the trees you can see the headlights i mean it looks so pretty but the headlights are so bright on this vehicle i love that i love the front end on these volkswagens what do they call that grill? It looks so The grill pretty. looks good, yeah. I don't know if there's a certain name for the grill, but it does look really nice. So there's that. If we would have had a bad seat that big when we were younger, we would have had big Yeah, don't let your kids drive it because they'll be humping and grinding in the back making little ones like this. Like I did. <laughs> yeah, big boy. Oh, he needs iPad help, everybody. All right, cut. Halloween. All right, everybody, we're going to continue our uh, family vlog on the Atlas tonight. I uh, just got done having dinner with the fam, and uh, there it is. I'm going to run up to the grocery store real quick and get our kitty cats some uh, hard cat food. But yeah, let's keep on continuing through. So there it is. She is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, what an amazing and beautiful vehicle. And uh, like I always tell y'all, you're only going to really get to see cool videos like this on my channel. Because, uh, you know, nobody's doing it like this, right? Nobody's doing night reviews and family stuff with the cars. Yeah, this is awesome. So thanks. Anyways, love these puddle lights. And, uh, you know, I thought they were puddle lights. But I guess you could consider that a puddle light. Usually puddle lights are under the rear view mirror over here you know under those side mirrors but Volkswagen has got this nice amber colored light right here and that really shines nicely down there it does so maybe that's technically not a puddle light but anyways all right so when you get in at nighttime this is about as bright as it is you're gonna have to um, set up your doors in here or your your uh, your anyways to set up the lighting on the interior so the lights cut on at night like that so yeah i got that on now anyways your start stop engine button right down here just press that cranks her up welcome to volkswagen yeah anyways it looked a little grainy a minute ago on the camera but that's how it looks right there so you know cameras aren't too good all the time with low lighting anyways let's put our seat belt on and let's drive down to the grocery store and uh and hopefully y'all enjoy cruising with me here tonight we can call this a little night ride all right so um this particular model does not have on the se with technology it doesn't have memory seats okay 
And uh, I'll tell you why memory seats come in handy. You know, as we saw earlier, there's the lighting on the backup camera. Pretty sweet at nighttime. That's nice and bright for us. I like those guidelines. And uh, that camera actually stays on until you hit five miles an hour. I'm pretty sure. Yep, and there it cuts right off. Okay. And uh, nope. The screen's nice, um, very, when you touch it, it, it reacts really quickly to your hand touch. But anyways, um, like I was saying with the memory seats, that comes in handy, like tonight, my wife drove the car down to the store. She put the seat in here in her position, you know, she's a little bit shorter than me, so the seat is farther up right now. And um, so with memory seats, that's when they come in handy because basically if your salesperson hasn't done this with you you have your, your car comes with two sets of keys right and some cars come with three but let's say your car comes with two sets of keys your smart keys if you look on the back of your key a lot of times it might say key fob one key fob two and and like i used to tell my customers you know, let's say, okay, we give your wife key fob one because it's her car, or if it's your husband's car, give him key fob one, and then give the other spouse key fob two. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure the car's off, and let's say your husband gets in the car with key fob one, he goes ahead and unlocks the car with key fob one, gets in the car with key fob one, go ahead and put your memory seats into position, everything in the car, have it set up, to that person's likings. I mean, some cars even get as advanced as in the radio stations, climate controls, all that stuff, right? But go ahead and get all that into position and then, you know, it's set up. You know, hold down the memory seat one button or whatnot, it's set up. And then what you do is let her do the exact same thing, get in the car, set up key fob two, get everything in set up for her positions and then set it up in the car crank the car you're good to go so basically like this position today if i had key fob one i would have got in the car and right when i hit the unlock button on the key the seats everything in the car would get into position for driver number one and so on and uh that makes it a little bit easier and that's like the little things in life where you don't have to sit here and adjust the seats every time you get in the car because your wife drove it or your husband drove it so if that's a little tip to help you hallelujah um, other than that we're gonna walk in by real quick and, uh, and get some cat food for the kitty cats and uh, I'm, I'll quit recording here in just a minute but I want to show you one more thing before we walk into the uh, grocery store here tonight that's what my wife was talking about earlier you see that over there that big old Ford Explorer that's like driving a big boat that's a a Ford Explorer EL so that is a long version I can tell just by looking at it but um and that's a big vehicle you know the person that drives that Explorer right there if it's a lady I think it is it goes to our she's a um, one of her kids are in our class in school if that's her Explorer I can tell you she's only got like two kids so may not need such a massive size vehicle right the uh, the pot the um, Atlas here may be perfect for her but anyways that's everybody's own choice so go ahead and push that push that this is what's going on once you get the car shut down. Make sure it's in park, get out. Now, you'll notice here I left the headlights in the auto position. Don't have to cut them off anymore, okay? You just leave them in auto, and the uh, vehicle's lights will just do what they need to do when, uh, when you get out. But just wanted to show you. Do you ever kind of look back at the car once you get out and you're getting ready to go in the store and you look back at it and you say, man, that's one good looking vehicle right there. I'm glad I own that car. That's my car. That's what it's all about, folks. Turning back and taking that look before you walk in the store and saying, mm, man, that's what I drive. That makes you feel good when you pay that car payment every month, doesn't it? Sure does. All right, buddy, get the cat food, go back home, edit some videos, get the kids to sleep, and get myself to sleep. Anyways, um, yeah, another cool feature on the Atlas. Let me show you this real quick. Um, great feature to have. Let me cut this light off. Um, there's a light up top up here that actually cuts on the rear. Hold on. Boom. Check that out. See that?
pretty sweet. Not bad. And there's actually lights, two more lights all the way back in the third row. So you got a total of four lights right there and then two more right up here. So that's a pretty nice feature. Um, you know, the only thing I'm not a big fan of on the Atlas is that, you know, I mean, you're paying $38,000 for this vehicle right here. I mean, $38,000. I mean, don't ever underestimate that not being a lot of money. That is a lot of money for a uh, for a vehicle. Okay, I mean, fifty thousand is a lot. A hundred, two hundred, of course, that's a lot. But even thirty-eight thousand is a lot of money for a vehicle. So, with that being said, you know, I think Volkswagen should have still kept some of the nice features on this vehicle. Um, you know, like some LED lighting on the interior, things like that. I mean, I just, uh, you know, it just kind of boggles me a little bit that, you know, even on the SE like this, you don't get a lot of the things that the SEL has. And, uh, you know, again, I know I'm reviewing the Atlas tonight and all that, but, you know, you, my wife says, you know, and look, I get it. You know, you see a lot more Ford Explorers on the highway driving around you see a lot more tahoes on the highway driving around stuff like that but i will tell you go look at a explorer that's thirty eight thousand dollars and tell me what you're going to get on it for that kind of money i think i may tell you tomorrow when i head up to the ford store that's possibly something that might be on our schedule not sure yet but anyways um there it is at night looking pretty hot not bad at all good looking car again you know it is beautiful um all led headlights I still will tell you, I think Volkswagen should have given us some LEDs down in the bottom bumper for fog lights. That's one thing your Mazda will have on the CX-9 and CX-5, is you will get LED lights on the bottom down there. Um, you know, it's just, it's nice to see the colors all flowing the same together. Um, tail lights look great at night, looking good, got that kind of three-dimensional look. I think there's a, uh, there's a person on YouTube that's a subscriber to the channel, his, uh, his profile picture looks like that right there. It, you know, his pic on YouTube, it looks like the uh, taillights on the back. Um, you do have LED lighting for your tag light as usual. So uh, anyways, that's about it for tonight. I think you got it for the most part, but stay tuned, okay? I mean, this is gonna be an adventure over the next day or so, and uh, really checking this car out. And uh, tomorrow, possibly we'll have some new uh, some new places to take this vehicle and get some beautiful shots of it, so hang tight. And before we go tonight, real quick, gotta look at the headlights again. Cannot underestimate these LED lights on this vehicle, and uh, I gotta show them to you while we're cruising at nighttime, because you know we may not have the car again at night. Tomorrow could be the last day, I do not know. But, I mean, this is your regular headlights right here at nighttime. I do have the fog lights on right now, but I mean, that's super bright. I'm gonna cut the fogs off real quick so you can see. So that's just the LED headlights. And then when we put the brights on, it does a pretty good job there. I mean, look at that house up there. Let's see it light it up. Booyah, look at that. I mean, that is bright. Wow, I mean, it really shined onto that house. Um, another nice feature too, when you turn left or right, that fog light cuts down on down in the bottom bumper there. Watch over here. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but watch, keep watching, it'll cut off. All right, a little tough to see, but yeah, the fog lights cut on on the bottom to uh, put some brightness down on the road for when you're turning left or right at nighttime. Another great feature. So again, you got super bright lights on the Atlas, which there's not a whole lot of other vehicles on the market right now you know in this price range they're gonna have full led headlights and if there are make sure you let me know in the comments which ones they are all right cool now we're going <laughs> and this just scared the tar out of me look at this i'm looking at my backup camera and look right there <laughs> the scream mask sitting on the cooler i mean I actually saw it first in my rear view mirror, which is a little tough to see now, but I was backing up and I was like, what is that face looking at me? That's what I like about, about October. It's just fun getting spooked a little bit.